Hey, how are you all doing out there? You ready for another episode of Junk Science? From home? Okay, well, my name's Will, and I'm here in my backyard, and today we are gonna be talking about plants. We're gonna be looking around the backyard, and, and uh, we're gonna be thinking like scientists and engineers, and using our natural curiosity to help drive this lesson. So welcome, Kinder Rockets. We're happy you could join us and any other kindergartners or young scientists and engineers that are ready to learn today. So I wanna start out by saying that, you know, you can go outside and explore every day, uh, not only in your backyard or front yard, but around the neighborhood, as long as you have a parent and you're safe. And you've been exploring since you were born. Uh, so we're gonna really kind of build our knowledge together and take a look at some of the uh, opportunities we have outside of our homes. Okay, so we've been exploring our backyard and we actually brought out our scientific notebook to take some notes and think about what we notice and wonder. And our young scientist explorer here has some questions that she wants to share. So what's one of your questions that you have? What do plants need to live? Oh, good question. What do plants need to live? So let's think about that for a moment. As we look around, Okay, so today we're going to be asking ourselves the question, how do we know that something is alive? And what do plants and animals need to survive? And we're also gonna think about why do certain plants and animals live in our community? So right now, we're gonna follow this young lady as she explores in the backyard. We're listening to the sounds of perhaps some different animals that we hear. And we're gonna look closely at some of the plants and trees and nature around us. I want you to think about what observations you can make when you're outdoors. And do you notice any patterns of what plants and animals, including humans like ourselves, what do we need to survive? So think about that for a moment. Pause and reflect and think about what do these plants that you see around our yard, we didn't plant these, by the way. These, this looks different. Our yard looks different than it did a month or two ago. So let's look closely. Let's look closely down at some of these plants. And what do we notice? What do we wonder? So another question that you may have, my other question is why does our backyard look different? That's true. Our backyard does look different than it did a few months ago or say in the summertime, right? And so what do you think? Okay, so you've been taking some great notes and I want you to share with us. What do you notice? I notice trees, flowers, and bushes. Okay. And can you give me some more detail? What colors do you see? I see green, pink, yellow, red. Okay. And can you, what do you hear? I hear birdies, the wind, and someone drinking. <laughs> or at least someone okay. else drinking. And do you smell anything? I smell flowers. <laughs> okay. Let's look closely at some flowers. Let's go over here. So I see some flowers. Mmm, camellias. Oh. But this one, that fell off the tree. Hmm. Look down Looks here. Looks like it was starting to rot. Hmm. Interesting. So they're changing colors, the ones that are on the ground. Then. So it looks like you're feeling some of the plants. How do they feel? Smooth, mm -hmm. dry. Do all the plants- Velvety. Velvety, okay. Do all the plants feel the same? Like if you were to no. go over this to it. This one's the only one that feels velvety. And this one feels a little bit more soft and wet. Hmm. Did it rain this morning? Mm-hmm. 
this one probably recovered because it's all dry and smooth. But a little bit cold. Okay. I wonder if how it would feel if it didn't rain this morning. Well, plants do need water to survive, so probably hot and droopy. So, what do you think after we have observed and investigated out in our backyard? Well, this is the sentence frame that my dad gave me. It's, I think blank because blank. And I said, I think some of our plants are alive because they are standing up and blossomed. So I want to thank you for joining us on this new episode of Junk Science. Thank you to my daughter for uh, being our young explorer. And I also want you now to uh, explore your own backyard and start thinking about uh, what do you notice? What do you wonder? Uh, what is alive? What do plants need to survive? And I'm going to encourage you to use your science notebooks to plant your own seeds and take pictures every day of your plant growing. Think about what your plant will need to grow up to be a healthy, strong plant. So I will be checking in with you again soon and stay safe out there, be well, and keep exploring.